This is a quick video demonstration of the two finger scrub gesture. The two finger scrub gesture is used to close a pop-up menu. The scrub gesture can also be used to perform the back action, meaning it can take you back to the previous page, similar to activating the back button. In this video, I will demonstrate the scrub gestures in the settings app. In other videos, I'll apply the scrub gesture to close a pop-up menu and to go back a page. I'm going to demonstrate the scrub gesture in the voiceover practice page, which is in the settings app. Lock. Settings. Settings. And under accessibility on the right side of the screen, I'm just gonna drag just down. screen at accessibility. Button. And split tap. On the right two thirds of the screen, I'm gonna drag down. Voiceover on. To button. voiceover, and I'm gonna split tap again. And I'm going to go to voiceover practice here. So I'm going to slide yep, down voiceover practice button. and split tap. Voiceover practice heading. I'm on the voiceover practice page. I'm going to come down and just tap to activate to start the screen. Um, practice so voiceover gestures, once. commands, and typing in this area. Select the done button in the top right corner and double tap to exit. All right, so now I can do the action, any gesture here, and the iPad will tell me what I did and what the gesture does. So I'm gonna take my two fingers um, to perform the scrub gesture. We're gonna use two very relaxed fingers. And as with all iOS gestures, the fingers should be spread slightly apart and should be bent slightly. Next, I'm gonna move my fingers rapidly back and forth several times. All right, let's go ahead and watch that. Two finger scrub, escape. This movement is fast and small and covers a space of only an inch or two. Only the two fingers in the hand should move. The wrist and my arm should remain still. I'm gonna do it again. Two finger scrub, escape. So you want to imagine scrubbing or erasing the pop-up menu. So again. Two finger scrub, escape. If you're having trouble to make the small, rapid back and forth movement, try modifying the movement by drawing a small print Z on the screen using a slightly slower movement. So to make the print Z, I'm gonna start on the top left. I'm gonna go right. I'm gonna come down at an angle to the bottom left, and then I'm gonna go in a straight line right again. So let me go ahead and demonstrate that. Two finger scrub, escape. I'm going to do that again. This is the print Z format. Starting at the left, I'm going to go across, diagonally down, and across again. Scrub. Escape. 